Hi, this is Matt Garrett, and in this video, we're gonna have a quick look at how to whitelist my email, or indeed anybody else's email address in Google, so Gmail, in Outlook, and in Yahoo, Yahoo Mail. Okay, we're gonna start with the big one, which is Gmail. Okay, so here I am in my Gmail account, and the email that I'm looking for isn't appearing in my primary tab, so I need to check the social and promotions tab to find out where it is. As it happens, I know it's landed in the promotions tab. Once I find the email and identify it, all I need to do is click on it and drag it up here across to the primary tab so that now will be dropped into my primary tab. And yes, we want to make sure this always happens for emails from that address. So we just click on yes here at the bottom for the notification. That will make sure that whenever you get emails from that person in the future, instead of being in the promotions tab, it'll be over here in the primary tab. Now the next thing we want to do to whitelist this email and make sure it never goes into a spam box is to click on the email itself. Once it comes up, click on the three dots over here for more. Choose the option to filter messages like this. It should automatically put the from email address at the top here. Click on create filter and all we need to do is choose never send it to spam. Okay, so we tick this box. You may also want to star it if it's an important email that you want to get. Make sure that you see emails from this person when they turn up so we can click on star it. But the most important thing is to click on the box for never send it to spam and then click on create filter and that will make sure that my emails or emails from whoever you want to make sure that they don't go into the spam box always end up in your primary inbox. Now let's look at what to do if the email that you're looking for is in your spam box. For this, I'm going to a different email address and I'm in my spam box. And all I need to do is locate the email that I'm interested in. Again, click on it. So this is from Matt Garrett. I click on this email and you can see it's marked as spam. And what we could do is click on the box here saying not spam. But what I'm actually gonna do is scroll over here to again the three dots click on the icon for more, choose filter messages like this. Again, it will bring up the email from at the top. What we want to do is click on create filter. Once that comes up, we click on the box or the tick the box for never send it to spam. Again, if you want to click on star it as well, then click on create filter and that will make sure that all emails from that email address don't go to spam and they go into your, your primary inbox and they have a star on it as well if you tick that. Having done that, we can now choose the not spam as well. So let's click on not spam and that will move this particular email back into our primary inbox as well. Okay, so that's how to whitelist my emails in Gmail to make sure that they don't go to your spam box and you always get to see them. And as I said, it works for any emails. Next, let's look at how to do it in Outlook. So here I am already logged into my Outlook account and all I'm gonna do is click on the junk email tab. Then I need to find the email that I'm interested in, click on it so it comes up. And again, I'm gonna click on the three dots to the right here for more actions. And under here, I'm going to choose this add to safe senders option. And that will make sure that any emails from this email address always go into my inbox rather than my junk email folder. So I simply click on add to safe senders. Then we choose okay, and that's it confirmed. Obviously bear in mind that is for future emails. This one is still in the junk email box. So what we can do is click on the move to option at the top here and choose to move it to our inbox to make sure that that is also now appearing in our inbox. So that's how to whitelist emails for Outlook. Okay, next and lastly, we're gonna look at whitelisting email addresses in Yahoo. And again, what I'm gonna do is go across to the spam folder to look for the email that I've not received. Here it is in the spam folder, and all I need to do is tick the box here, go up to the top, click on the three dots for more options, and choose add sender to contacts. Click on this, and that is now whitelisting that email address for us. But what I'm also gonna do is choose the not spam option to move this particular email back from the spam folder into the inbox. Now, if I go to the inbox, that email will appear here in the inbox. Let's get rid of this pop over. If the email is already in the inbox and you want to make sure it's whitelisted, even if it's not already going to spam, then all you need to do again is click on the little tick box here and again, choose more options and add sender to contacts. That basically makes sure that this particular email address and sender always gets their emails through to you 
and into your inbox. So that's how to whitelist my email address in Gmail, Outlook or Yahoo Mail. And as I said, it will work for anybody's email address. As you can see, it only takes a few moments to do and it'll make sure that you always get to see my emails. If you use a different email provider, there will again be some way in which you can choose the email, look for an option for more and set up a filter to allow those emails to get through to you without going into the spam email box. And please always feel free to hit reply to that email address and let me know what you're thinking, give me your feedback, etc. Although bear in mind, your email might go to my spam box as well. So if you really need to get hold of me, please look for my support address, which is support at gazmat.com. Thanks very much for watching and please like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube.